Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today we have a huge project. I shouldn't even say today, I should say tonight because it's about, um, about 10, 27 p.m. on a Tuesday. So right now what we're working on is, this is gonna be a retail store. Um, this whole back wall, well, yeah, this whole front wall or back wall, side wall is gonna be 20 feet by eight feet cabinets. In front of me is gonna be 25 feet by eight feet cabinets. What we're working on right now is we have to build the caucus or the base for the retail checkout counter. And the customer asked us to build it at 42 inches high but the problem with that, so 42 inches high is going to be about this big. Now, for me, I'm 6'2", so I like this because I don't have to lean forward because I do have a, a bad back and a bad neck. Um, so for me, it works out perfectly, but I can't just go off of myself because there's going to be a lot of different... Um, people coming into the store, some may be really tall, some may be short, some may be, you know, medium height. So what I end up doing was I cut it down to 38 and a half. So let's get to put this carcass together. Let's glue it up. Let's get this finished. Let's slide it over and uh, we'll start on the other one. Let's get this one glued up. Let's get it punched in. You know, I was very lucky and I feel so blessed to be able to get this extra work. You know, God opened the door for shoot the mama. Uh, we don't need no more than five staples in that. All right. Crack a lacking. Now we don't want to put a lot of glue because we don't want to, uh, we don't want any squeeze out, but we really don't want a lot of squeeze out. So I put a little wavily snake line and that's enough glue for me to do what I needed to do. There's a little snake line. All right. Okay. The hard part has begun. Now it's not necessary for you to do this, but since the client the client asked, and I shall do. All right, so since we got that, now we're gonna go ahead and drop the bottom plate in. Okay, so I think this size looked the best. So now we're gonna place some glue around the top and the front seams. It doesn't need a lot. <laughs> this side looks the best to me. Now that should drop. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's get this uh, 
top piece in. All right, so now we're gonna put a little glue right here. Not a lot. And a little glue on this one. Now we're gonna place this one like that. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. But what we need to do is have a clamp set up already. So when we put this in, I can basically go ahead and hold it with the clamp. Okay, that caucus is done. I'm getting awfully tired. I've been working now for almost 16 hours. <sighs> Thank God for Dr. Pepper. Yes, I know. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments, including from my own mother, that this stuff is bad. I'm sorry, Mom. Right now, I need it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to cut 38 and 3 quarters by 25 and a half, which is going to be the, if you're looking at the counter, the left side. stop the saw before you try to pick it up because as the blade is spinning if you try to pick it up it's gonna hit the wood and it's gonna kick back at you and you could get seriously hurt so always wait now we're gonna try to cut this on the on the table saw that uh, table saws make everything so much easier man I tell you it really does let's see if we can accomplish this all right so just a little bit. Um, that should work. But that's not too high. That's that's absolutely perfect. All right, so. All right, here goes nothing. Nice one. All right, so. This is the first one. It's gonna go like right here. Now we need one more. Maybe we can use a table saw to cut both of these right now. I think I just cut through the milk crate. That was cool. That was great. Welcome back, guys. Day two of the store build. So what we have going on right now is my best friend is here, and we are knocking out the retail display service counter, the checkout counter, eight foot by six foot window. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to come down with a box on the top and we're going to come up with a box on the bottom. So we're only going to have about a five foot window out of the eight feet because he wants to have a retail display from the inside, but he also wants people to see it on the outside because it is going to be a like a, a meat market grocery store type of um, business. So that's what we're going to do right now. So come with me and let's get this done. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the cross bracing to make the candy display counter. So our saw horses kind of disappeared. So we're using the next best thing, milk crates. Oh. 
Thank you.